Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Welcome to this live stream over on Twitch. Um, I hope you can hear me. I hope everything is uh, working because uh, it has been almost a year since we didn't do a live stream, my friends. And I just uh, noticed that um, I got like uh, over, uh, almost over 100 subscribers on Twitch and uh, we didn't do a live stream since a long time ago. I hope you can hear me well. I hope everything is still uh, right set up here. Hello, Warren uh, Leroux, and uh, welcome back to this live stream. Also, hello, S. Wolfi and uh, Salando. Nice to have you here in the live stream. I just came live for a short update on Bitcoin. I thought I was uh, about to do a video, but since I just noticed that I got uh, uh, so many new Twitch uh, followers and uh, I've been um, like almost a year away from uh, Twitch, I found let's do a live stream. I'm with my notebook, so I'm not able to read uh, everything well, like every comment. Uh, so I have to keep here the OBS uh, platform open to read the comments. Otherwise, I'm not seeing it. Uh, who else here in the live stream? The mindful minimals, uh, minimalist. Uh, welcome to the live stream. Um, it's going to be a short live stream. Uh, I was about to watch the last episode of WandaVision. If you're looking at uh, this new Marvel series, then shout out to everyone that is watching this as well. Today is the last episode of this season, so I'm gonna watch it later. And um, I thought that I have to bring out this update right now uh, because since this morning uh, we had a lot of um, things happening. So that's why I just wanted to bring you this uh, update and also make a little warning here. Uh, even though it is bullish that we are pumping right now, Bitcoin is reaching uh, um, almost 50k again. Um, but we are not out of the woods yet. I told you also this morning, if you're trading with my own indicator on Discord or with your trading view, then make sure to put a stop loss as soon as this pump is happening because uh, we are still not out, out of the woods yet. We are still below this resistance here of around um, $50,000. So I didn't put yet a stop loss. I opened uh, a long position here at uh, 40 eight thousand uh, right when we got here this uh, buy signal in the three hour time frame you can see that it happened exactly here it was confirmed and with the next three hour candle you see that we had here this uh, dump this is uh, very often what happens as soon as we have a buy signal we're just coming down to confirm like these new supports below of us and then uh, uh, immediately we are seeing the pump now the the problem is um that we still have this resistance here at 50k. So this is coming out from this ascending broadening wedge that I told you in, in, in this uh, video earlier today um, that um, you can see it here, uh, that if, even if we would see a pump, it is very likely that here we could get some uh, huge resistance or even get rejected even though we got here a buy signal. But the good thing is right now, so that's why I'm still not putting here uh, a stop loss. Um, Wait, let me quickly check the comments. Yeah, everything is good here. Quality is also good. Just to be sure that you can hear me. Um, yeah, so what happened is we longed here. And if uh, we can do this also, this video as a little tutorial for my indicator as well, because usually we are trading the three hour time frame. If you're trading only with the Discord live stream here, uh, if you want to join it, make sure to use the official link that you find down below in the video description of all my YouTube videos. Don't use any kind of link that you find uh, in the comment section, wherever. I never share anything. I always refer to my YouTube videos, uh, uh, and especially here to the video description where you can find all my links. And here you get also the one for Discord. Uh, if you're trading with this, because here you can see the 15 minute time frame here on the left, in the middle, the three hour, the most important time frame. And then, of course, also the daily time frame, which is giving also 
general market conditions here and here you can see the indicator and of course also the EMA ribbons which is telling you if we are trading on an uptrend like here in the 15 minute time frame or in a downtrend like we were previously here in the three hour and now it looks like that we could have now a reversal here and then we're gonna trend again to the upside so basically in the indicator you, you just have to watch the three hour time frame as soon as uh, this custom uh, pink trend line here is at the bottom and we're getting a buy signal here this green dot as close as possible to these two lines down here so to oversold condition and money flow is positive this uh, green area here that you can also see very clearly here in the daily time frame is shifting to green uh, then we're good to go long uh, important is also that the RSI is trading above the 50 or is going above the 50 level to have um, a successful a big explosive move to the upside and of course we also want to see 4 hour closes in the bullish side even better above the Bollinger Band so that usually means we're going to see an explosive move to the upside and yeah what we are seeing right now is that in the 4 hour time frame we are having now the first close above the 20 moving average we were trading below this important moving average so far and now we had had this first close above the 20 moving average and we have to keep it as a, a support now so we we shouldn't close this four hour candle here below the 20 moving average so not below 